Mayor Olivia Chow, like every other political leader, immediately offered her thoughts on social media Saturday after the Hamas attacks on Israel and the retaliation. Those comments, though, triggered a wave of backlash that a few days later she's still trying to recover from. Mayor Chow, can we have a few moments with you now? The city's mayor was still trying to find her footing, avoiding the cameras and microphones early in the day. After a weekend marred with international conflict, spilling into the streets of Toronto, Chow's early missteps stood out. You initially offered a reaction on Saturday morning on social media, quickly deleted one of those posts. First and foremost, why did you do that? I actually deleted two because some people read the first one, other people read the second one, and they were connected. Chow's posts were aimed at denouncing the Hamas attacks on Israel, but the second said, we must acknowledge Palestinian pain and severe loss of life during this time. Later in the evening, it was replaced with my earlier tweets on this have been deleted because of the harm and confusion they caused. I want to be very clear that I condemned Hamas uh, brutal act of violence and I don't want to see any civilians hurt. On Sunday, before rallies took over the streets and Nathan Phillips Square, Chow echoed that sentiment in a statement saying, quote, glorifying this weekend's indiscriminate violence is deplorable. The Mayor of Toronto, Olivia Chow. Last night, Chow was welcomed to a rally in support of Israel with a chorus of boos. My friends. I think it's generally quite difficult for um, local politicians to uh, navigate um, navigate conflicts like this, given that um, they have uh, members who are members of their community who are you know, passionately involved with uh, both sides. I think she was really just trying to find uh, a message that would resonate with both sides. I think um, she failed to do that, obviously. How have you taken this uh, throughout the course of the weekend and the fact that you're getting different messages from different people? Mm -hmm. the, the evening, uh, I want to be there to show solidarity to the, what the Jewish community was feeling. Lots of pain, anguish, and not feeling safe. I want to say I'm with them. The boo was in the beginning by midway um, less, a lot more applause, and hardly any at all. Do you think um, any of that miscommunication or some of that uh, interpretation from you over the course of the weekend, do you think that's done with at this point and you'll be able to move forward? Look, there's a lot of hurt, pain, anguish, some emotional trauma and fear that are being felt by residents and I need to acknowledge it. In our interview, the mayor also spoke about showing compassion and empathy with, in her words, different points of view. She's open to people expressing their opinions here at Nathan Phillips Square or elsewhere, as long as it does not glorify violence in any way. Mark McAllister, City News.